what is up guys welcome to a brand new series of the long dark if you guys don't know who i am i'm bring the party your host for this series if you guys are watching this on day one thank you so much for having the uh notifications on if you guys are new there's a link to a playlist in the description where you guys can watch through an entire series of the long dark um i'm uploading this today i if you are previously watching my previous long dark series i had a um, disabling those videos and turning these videos on as those videos were uh, had issues with brightness and such. I was able to fix that so you guys can actually see what's going on. I didn't realize how dark this game actually is. On my screen, it's a lot brighter, but for y'all, it was a little bit tougher to watch. So anyways, Long Dark, really cool game. It released in like 2016 in early access, but slowly got more and more updates. The game is all about surviving in the Canadian wilderness. I did play only a couple hours, I think like two hours of this game in the past six years. So I'm excited to be hopping on into this. I do have a resume as I did start that new that series previously, but we're going to avoid that one so we can start a brand new series where you guys can watch all the way through. I'm going to hit new um, for my own sanity. I think we're going to go. Uh, is this the recommended one for new or experienced players looking for a balance between exploration and survival? I think we'll do uh, Voyager. I think that's probably the move. And then, like, you could do Stalker and stuff. But I think I'm going to avoid that. I'm just going to do Voyager and keep that for now. And then last time, if you guys were watching, I saw off in Pleasant Valley. I'm ditching Pleasant Valley. I say we do, like, maybe Mystery Lake or what's Bleak Intel? Once a home to a thriving industrial. I don't know, man. What's this one? For advanced play? I'm, I, I wouldn't consider myself all that advanced. But I've never seen Mountain Town. Although deep in decline, Milton still offers many sturdy shelters and plentiful wildlife. But if you leave the town for the surrounding hills and fields, beware. beware. So I'm going to pick that one. My brother's actually saying that is the one to go with. His name's Big Blue Bug Gaming. He has a full series of The Long Dark. So if you guys are new to my series, and if you're watching this day one, maybe you want to watch five hours, 10 hours, 20 15 hours of it. He has about 20 something episodes around a half hour piece. Uh, you guys can go catch that over on the big blue, on the big blue bug gaming channel. All right, let's go mail. Good map. Um, a lot going on. A lot going on on this map. There's a lot of houses. So you don't have to find I'm getting good recommendations from this one as I have not played this game more than just a little bit. I picked a city last time, so this will actually be new to me. Charles Darwin is not the strongest of the species that survives, nor the most intelligent that survives. It is one that is the most adaptable to change. So obviously the game's still dark, but not as dark as it was previously. So it actually doesn't look that bad. I was looking at your, um, your, your screen. But first things first, we spawn up in a shelter, which is actually really nice of them. Let's start searching everything here. And then I guess we can start looking around. I want to see if I can get... Um, venison actually that's interesting i want to see if we can actually get anything of use out of this place as i think what we really got to get are the essentials what i'd like to find are like uh hatchets guns that type of stuff maybe books like here's a book so like we can go snag that there's another cardboard box for a little tinder doesn't take up too much time it's already midday though so we're just going to keep that uh on the top of our minds is midday is a little bit um, a little risky. The fact that I won't have too much time tonight to actually look around is going to be unfortunate, but we'll start getting our bearings here. I'll search everything, make sure I got everything in the pockets ready to move, and then we'll start moving out. Always make sure to crouch and look underneath stuff. Every once in a while you find something good down here. I... <laughs> oh, nice, nice scarf. Do this bad habit of emphasizing a Boston accent. I am from Boston, but I really emphasize it sometimes. My bad. <laughs> Crouch, look down here, you know. <laughs> All right, let's keep looking. Uh, book, another book, another book. A couple books. We could break these. I'm not going to spend time breaking these. There might be a hatchet or something in here that could save me a little time. A lot of books, though, which is good and bad. So books are obviously helpful for... Um, for fires and starting fires like really helpful for that but excluding that it's not like the best thing i hate that i actually have to scrap this i can't just pick it up Ooh, a lot of firewood 
Maybe we'll just stay here for the night or for the next few nights as I get my bearings. What we could do is start making uh, kind of trips okay. outside, but sticking, always coming back here. What I'd like to find, is that ammo? That's rifle ammunition. Hold up. Is there a gun up here? Maybe there's a gun upstairs. Anything underneath the table? No. Is that a, is that a pan? Wait, is that a pan? Oh, that's huge. So that'll be perfect for water. What else? Is, what's that? I can't tell. I mean, maybe that's nothing. So that'll be good for water. All right, let's head upstairs real quick. Tab. All right, yeah, sun's really coming down quick. Getting a little cold, but not 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 cold cold yet. About to start looking a little quicker here. I can't spend too much time doing this. Sewing kit that'll let me repair stuff. Couple revolver. Hey, bedside table. Give give me a gun. Bedside table, a gun, a gun. Mm. I don't know if these are randomly generated, the loot in these locations. I honestly don't know the answer to that, so they could be. But then again, they could just be like consistent. You guys are like, Josh, there's not a gun in there. I'm not spending any more time breaking that stuff down. Metal pain. This is all paper? I can't grab all this, but this will be good to come back to, I guess. Gun. Gun. Hoping for another gun, as you guys do. As you do. Ooh, a chest. That chest looks fancy. Hmm. Coats. I'll have to make sure I start wearing my coats, you know? I'll, I'll get dressed after this, after I finish searching for, through everything. Nice. We got a lot. Ooh, socks. Nice. No weapons, unfortunately. But we did search pretty well. We found a lot of useful stuff. Let's look at where we are in the map right now real quick. And then we'll we'll go from there. But let's head outside. Yeah, I got a little time here. Let me get dressed. Dude, why are you just wearing that? I feel like you're wearing nothing. Dude, it's going to be so much warmer now. Dude, so much warmer. All right, let's go look at what's going on outside. I started doing a basic search. I really didn't find that much food. I feel like food was kind of a hindrance in this one. It looks like we had a lot of like resources for starting fires with the paper and the books and all that. But the amount of food was, man, it was limited. Oh, whoa. What the? Okay, jumping the gun because now we have an entire area to freaking search through. What? I think there's a book. Oh, check the glove box. There's a book about guns. Maybe there's a gun in the glove box. A little jerky. Check those. What stinks is I have to get back in here and come from this angle just to pick up the, uh, the small, small gun. Okay. Cool. All right, we are good to go. Rocks, not bad. What's that? Rocks? One of these houses must have some sort of gun or something. The reason I want a gun so bad is, first off, they're hard to find. So if we found one early on, it would be huge. But then I can also use them to hunt. And it's like really good to get them early on. It, it doesn't matter. Uh, I lie. There's no reason to get it earlier on than anything else. It's just it would give me another option to hunt with instead of having to hunt with um seven instead of having to hunt with like a fishing rod or something, I can use the gun and kill like a bigger animal, which will give me more food in the long run, which will help, but 
there's not a huge benefit to it. It won't it won't be game changing. Yeah, we also need ammunition, which is extremely scarce, as you guys can tell. So there's not a big purpose for it, but there is definitely a purpose. No way to get into this house. Noted. Credit union. Maybe cash. Let me go bribe the bears. Cars are actually really good for, like, staying alive, though. They're, like, pretty warm, usually, which is good. Obviously important to be warm. Okay, now we're actually getting a lot of food. Anything in that backseat? I didn't really get a look. Nah. Let's look inside here real quick. Yeah, hello! Snacks, papers, cardboard. Hold up. If I was a credit union, I would not have a gun... But maybe security would have a gun? Huh? Huh? We need a pry bar. Let's find a pry bar then. Maybe there's like a mechanic here. In this town, I mean. Not like here as in where I currently am, but maybe in this town. safe hmm oh All right, so it's around 40. Forty, fifty-five. Let's say 42 for my own sanity. Then there's like 50... One or two, and then it's then it's twenty five, so it's forty. It's forty two, fifty five, twenty five. Check that out. Check that out, baby. What have we here? That wasn't even that helpful. Okay. Thank you for nothing. Is that gold? I can't use gold. Is it just a stack of cash? I guess I can burn it. <laughs> That's what we're doing these days with cash, right? With this inflation. Oh my gosh. You can search all these. Okay, don't some people keep, is, isn't, don't some people keep a gun in their safety deposit box? People keep ammo. What do I have that wasn't useful that I've picked up? Harvest it. I 
hoping harvesting some of this will uh, allow me to carry more. Just eat, I guess. If you eat, that should help. Where's the juice? <laughs> Soda. It's not juice, but... Y'all get it. Boom. Beautiful. Good to go. Nothing all that useful over here, eh? In fact, I didn't find a pry bar is a little interesting, eh? Wasn't like anything in here. Oh no! Oh, pry bar. I'm not sure I can carry much more. That's all right. We found a pry bar. Is he trying to get into these machines? He's like, oh no, I'm cold. Let me steal cash? Question mark. Right, you can't carry much more. Let's. What can we? Wait, are you wearing? A... Are you wearing a good pair of shoes? They're all kind of the same, eh? Oh, you don't have that much time to har harvest. Oh, well. Um, let's go break one of these open. This stuff will come in handy. Did anything else require a pry bar in here? This not. I now have to decide if I want to head home or if I want to keep searching. There's still some daylight left. And I'm not even, like, tired or anything, but I'm kind of stocked on, like, inventory space. There's a lot more searching to do, but I guess we can go pop into maybe this house. And then we can search more, like, tomorrow. Oh, the house is locked up. Not this one, though. So maybe we can just pop into here and kind of call it a night. Always the wood that weighs a lot. Tin of sardines, not the sardines. Banged up peach can. These are some pretty good finds, to be honest. What the heck do you use a toaster for? Not tomato soup. I'd love tomato soup. That would look like a, look like a grilled cheese sandwich. Mm -mm -mm. I guess we, we... Is there a fire pit? A fireplace in you? No. I'm going to have to go make my way over to the other place then. No, I don't care about that. No plastic container. I don't care about the uh, the spray paint. I know you guys are like, Josh, the spray paint. No. It ain't happen. Wait. Ah, doesn't even let me use that door. That's interesting. I even have a pry bar. Just let me pop the boards off. we head up or should we look on we can look at one more house right we got a little time and then we'll head up it's called the milton house i guess the miltons lived here book book i ain't bring any more books with me stack of paper is that a body all right let me let me look through everything before i find out if that's a body or not if there's a body in that bed, I won't want to be in here anymore, so. Might as well search first. Let 
you guys think you could survive in, like, a cold place for a while? I guess this is kind of unrealistic. He's literally, like, looting houses and stuff. That's, like, the most unrealistic part about this, though. I feel like the game in general is really realistic, but this, like, looting of houses and stuff is a little weird. But I guess, I guess you, you can't have it. You can't just be, oh, here's a wild, random place in the wilderness, you know? That'd be a little weird. And I actually like the looting of the house. There was not a body in the bed. Good news. It was just plastic container underneath the bed. Mmm. Let me tell you. I guarantee you there was once a gun there. Maybe they took it with them, but there was one. I need those bandages for when I twist my ankle because I keep carrying more stuff on my back. No more space around? Alright. Well, let's leave, I guess. Is that a police department? Post office? We have to head back. I can't I can't keep exploring right now. I'll break an ankle so quick. <laughs> we can't keep exploring. Keeps exploring. It doesn't look that cold this time. Last time, I think the first night, there was a blizzard. What's that? Kind of wish I could zoom in, but I guess I'd be unrealistic. I, I need some binox. Something over there that I want to go look at, but... Hey. Looks like we're here in Milton. Hanging out. Living the dream. Someone's like, you can breathe this air. All right, let's go right on inside. <laughs> For now, I guess we got time. Let's... Should we get a fire pick? Wait, a fire in the fireplace? Or should we... Is there like a... Uh, a fireplace upstairs near the uh, near the bed? No. Radiator? Really? Hmm. Dang it. I guess I was hoping there was like one of those... Uh, one of those fireplaces. I, I can't remember the name for some reason. That's okay. Look in the toilet. Don't look in the toilet. Alright, well... I guess we can go start up a fire and start getting some water going. Cook up this uh, moldy meat. That's what was, that was my nickname in high school. Moldy meat. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Let's start a fire, dude. Start. <laughs> Alright, let's get this bad boy going. Thank you, everyone, so much for watching the first episode of the series. Sorry about the last series. I know there was issues with the brightness and such, so I appreciate everyone who came back on over to still watch a new... We can just use an accelerant to watch this new series. I really do appreciate it. It's good to have you guys here. While we're here, let's get some water going. We got these big old cooking pans. Max that water out. It's just going to take an hour to do it. Let's add some fuel to that fire. We got nothing but time. Can we also cook while we're... Oh, that's interesting. Can we cook more? Oh, wow. That's kind of cool. I wish I could, like, nap skis down here, but instead I can't. I guess I could start breaking stuff down. If I don't have a hatchet, you can't. And break this down, it takes an hour. Perfect, that'll be perfect time for the venison. Dude, wait, I never found a lantern. I just realized I didn't find a lantern this time around.
That's unfortunate. It's 800 calories? That's nice. You saying we could do a coffee on this? Man. What to do? Yeah, it's still dark over here, but look at how nice it is. I love the ambiance of this game. Look at how nice it is over here. It's beautiful. Over here, dark as can be. That's how the game should be. So, I definitely used too much water, uh, too much fire this time around. I will, uh, I will end up regretting that, I'm sure. I also shouldn't drink this cup of coffee. I was just thinking about that. Uh, it's going to keep me awake, and I probably should get some shut eye, ton shut eye tonight. Just kind of waiting for this. Uh... I'm not going to eat it. I'm not going to drink it. Takes nine minutes. Go for it. We got to waste some time. Uh, water almost done almost done just gonna rip these things apart while we're hanging out cool how's that water i wish you could put this water i wish you could put this out because now it's like man i put too much fuel in there cleared up some inventory space though which is good Give me that cooking pot. All right, well. Let's get up to bed. Let's take a sip of water and let's go to bed. Thank you everyone so much for liking, commenting, and subscribing. If you guys enjoyed the series, consider doing those things I just mentioned. It will really help me continue making the series and also help go through the uh, go through the game. So if you guys want to see more of the content, let me know. I'll have more content up ASAP. But once again, thank you everyone for understanding about that uh, that change there. And I apologize about having to start a new series. But hey, we're here now. Let's have some fun with it. I'll catch you guys in the next episode. See you, dudes.